I'm going to demonstrate my homemade 3D scanner. I use line lasers, a rotating platform, and a webcam to collect three-dimensional information about objects that I scan. So I have a stepper motor controller which controls the stepper motor underneath the rotating platform. You can see the webcam in the middle and two line lasers. I am now controlling the stepper motor controller using an Arduino so I can use USB instead of the parallel port. Uh, I was using Python to communicate with the parallel port in my system to control the stepper motor controller. Now I'm using the USB connection which is good because most computers don't have parallel ports anymore. The most important thing I want to show here compared to commercial scanners is that mine goes really fast and as you can see it's using two line lasers so that makes the programming a little bit more complicated but it goes at least twice as fast and so I'm going to hit return here for my Python script and so every time it moves it's taking a picture using the webcam I used to have a little shutter sound every time it took a picture I've turned that off but you can see how fast the object rotates and unlike some of the commercial scanners which rotate twice with one laser turned on and one laser turned off I can actually run both lasers at once and uh, separate the left laser from the right laser in the analysis software. So I will also include a rendering of this skull using Blender. The mesh came out extremely well. I recalibrated the machine today to make sure that I had all of my point cloud calculations correct based on the offsets of the, of the line lasers. And as you can see we're getting close to finished already. Even the little cracks in the skull actually resolved pretty well in the final three-dimensional mesh. Off to the left there is my calibration plate that I use to determine offset versus distance from the camera which I also blogged about recently. So that was one full rotation and in that much time it collects all the images required to build th the three-dimensional mesh. I'll be blogging about that process, uh, just showing how fast my 3D scanner works.